A preliminary hearing was held Monday for 52-year-old James Pratt, who last week was charged with murder and abuse of a corpse after the body of 46-year-old Paul Setzer was found. During the hearing, testimony was given by Floyd County Deputy Darren Lawson, who presented evidence of the incident. And a uh, conversation started between Pratt and Mr. Setzer. Um, the interview stated that, uh, that while they were talking, a, uh, I guess the argument had started, uh, something about one of the five or one of the box, and one of them stated, let's go down the road, and stated that Mr. Pratt walked outside. That's when you heard initial three or four gunshots. And he stated, uh, Mr. Pratt walked back in, uh, grabbed him and Buffy Morgan and their belongings, and then fled the scene. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Since Setzer's disappearance on December 30th, deputies Alan May and Lawson were able to locate Pratt on January 10th. Laying right next to the lap of uh, Mr. Pratt, uh, when I first made contact with him, I advised him multiple times to show his hands that he wouldn't. Um, and finally, he did show his hands. When we got him out of the car, there was a Glock 43 9 millimeter uh, laying uh, right at his uh, left leg. Uh, which also the, the shell cases that we found at the initial crime scene on the 10th was actually not millimeters. After the testimony, probable cause was found and a $250,000 cash bond was set against Pratt. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordell.